In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. My dear brothers and sisters, you are welcome to this moment of brief reflection on the Word of God for this seventh Sunday of Easter. As Christians, we are all united in prayer, and without such unity, we are nothing when we are apart from that communion. Our readings today talk to us about prayers. We see the disciples praying together as a community. The new converts are advised to pray together. We also see Jesus pray a very beautiful prayer of unity. Now, we all agree, as we usually sing, prayer is the key, prayer is the key. And we all agree that a prayerless Christian is a powerless Christian. And so anyone who truly loves God, needs and cares for Him, cannot afford not to be a prayerful person. Prayer is, as a, is an indispensable commodity, it's an indispensable good in the life of the Christian. In fact, it is as indispensable to the life of the soul as breathing is to the life of our bodies. And so we cannot do without it. But we need to ask, what is prayer? It may sound silly a question, however, we need to remind ourselves of what prayer truly is. Now, the Catechism of the Catholic Church describes prayer as the raising of one's mind and heart to God, or the requesting of good things from God. And so as an action, this must be done in humility. And that is to say, humility is the foundation of a prayerful life. And that is found in number 2559. So prayer can either be praise, it can be thanksgiving or petition. And through this act, we connect with God, who is our beloved Father. So connection is very important here. Now in prayer, we worship God as our Creator, in prayer, we seek communion with God, who is our Father. And in prayer, we petition God to come to our aid when in need. And so in prayer, too, we give thanks to Him for favors and blessings received from Him, in the, either individually or communally. So today, as we are speaking about prayer, we must ask ourselves, how often do we pray? And how powerful is our prayer. Do I pray much or do I pray less? Or are we indifferent to prayers? If we truly really love God, we cannot be indifferent to prayers. To feel that we do not need prayer is an indication that we neither know God nor love Him. Because prayer is a necessity in the life of the Christian. As human beings, we have needs and in prayer we take them to God. We may be lonely we need God as a friend to commune with. In life, we have occasions to celebrate life itself, and we need to thank God for His gift that we celebrate. As human beings, we sometimes need to be left alone, and on those moments, we need God to lean upon in meditation. In other words, we cannot be indifferent to prayer, but we must have a habit of prayer in our lives, because that is the life of the Christian. How prayerful are you in your life? How prayerful am I? Sometimes we are confused about how to pray or how to be prayerful. It is possible to think of prayer as just church attendance alone or as a habit, thereby reducing it to a mere habit. Although to develop a habit of prayer is good, yet we need to go further beyond than just making prayer a mere habit. We need to develop something deeper, a spirit of prayer whereby the totality of our lives and actions become expressions of that innate prayerful life and connection with God. So a mere habit of prayer may just end up in a routine. We simply babble words or repeat them meaninglessly, as we often maybe just say ready-made ones just to fill in the gap. But when we develop a spirit of prayer, it makes our prayer, prayer habit a meaningful gesture 
which is but a sacrament, an outward sign of a deeper communion that we have with God. We develop a spirit of prayer when our hearts and minds turn to God in all circumstances of our lives. When we have an attitude of waiting on and attending to God, then we have that spirit of prayer. When we develop a personal relationship with God, and such communion permeates all our daily activities, we are able to radiate God's love to all whom we come in contact with in the fields, at work, places, social gatherings, anywhere we find ourselves. For to work is to pray. And so, wherever we take our work seriously and perform our duties religiously, we are actually praying. So how committed are we to doing our chores? That is prayer itself. Therefore, a heart prayer is, is, is merely different from saying a prayer. It is possible to have a heart of conversation with God when we are alone as we see Jesus do it today. To sustain a relationship, time is necessary and it is a factor that can never be overruled. Quality time with God is therefore indispensable. And so when it comes to prayers, we must be ready to set aside some quality time for God. Another question to ask is which prayer pattern is better? Private prayer or a prayer with the community? They are all equally important and in fact, the two sides of the same coin. If we practice only one pattern, then it is not complete. We are individual members of the body of Christ. On its own, a part is deficient. And the whole body is an assembly of the individual parts put together. So prayers must be both sides. Private prayer is good. We see Jesus today take time and withdraw, spending some time in communion with God. And usually when he withdraws, Throughout the scriptures, we see that he joins the community after the prayers. And it is clear in the gospel today how Jesus prayed also. He even taught us we remember the Lord's prayer, which was a unity prayer, uniting all of us to this one Father we intercede. In the first reading, we see that the apostles together devoted themselves to what? A life of constant prayer as a community of believers. Acts chapter 1 verse 14. You see that the communion prayer is equally very important, as I said, two sides of the same coin. Thus, as a church, we must always and constantly pray together. It is the fortress or the strong wall of our church. For if private prayer is the breath of faith, then community prayers are the lungs of the church. And so the breath needs the lungs. And so we can see two together will build this big community. My dear friends, how prayerful are you? How prayerful am I? Do you get on your knees only when you are in trouble? Pray always. Daily meditations is important. Can we spend at least 10 minutes daily with the Lord? Can we also make sure that we go to community prayers always and every day of our life? You may ask how, and here is how. We have the mass to attend daily. We have pious prayer groups or even our family devotions every morning. But above all, let our prayerful devotions be a reflection of our every conduct. In our every conduct, with peoples, with animals, with nature itself that we meet on a daily basis. If this inner connection with God does not have a practical or a visible reflection in our day-to-day -day encounters and dealings with people, then our prayer is nothing. And so today, dear friends, we must ask ourselves, how just deep is my prayer life? And let us remember, it is not just enough to have private prayers, but community prayers is equally important because we are the body of Christ. And that communion which we have is very, very key to our Christian lives. Let us pray today, dear, for my dear brothers and sisters. Perhaps in our different individual lives, we have taken more of that private prayer and isolate ourselves from the bigger community. Now it's time to also turn the other side of the coin. 
to see that it is equally important when we pray together and live together as a family. May God open our hearts to accept his words and live out its practical effects wherever we find ourselves. Let there be no disconnection between our prayer life and the practical activities we engage in. We must be seen to radiate God's love to everybody, everywhere and anywhere we find ourselves. May the Almighty God be with us and guide us as we do His will. And may the blessings of the Almighty God, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit come down upon you and remain with you now and forevermore. Amen. Do have a very nice Sunday celebration and a blessed week ahead. Jesus loves you.